Have you been wondering if it's worth doing productivity work in your XR glasses? Well, let's find that out today with some through the lens testing. Ayo, yokoso, which means welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. So I'm doing some productivity tests here and quick thank you to those on Reddit who gave me the suggestion to do this testing. And quick disclosure, these glasses were gifted to me previously by Vichur, but all opinions are as always my own. Also really quick, you can see the cards up here like this to find out which glasses is which. And testing like this takes way more time than I'm willing to admit, as well as the editing. So if you are more interested in the side-by-side -side analysis rather than the single glasses comparison each one by one, make sure to check the timestamps below. Thanks. First up though is some mostly raw unedited footage. All right, so I have to re-record because there were issues in the original recording. Um, here I'm doing my text test, okay, and um, I guess new benching suite. So if you have ideas on how to improve this comparison, please by all means give me some. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, so here I'm going to show off first some color contrast comparison here. So we're here we have 16 point text right here on the side. It is black text on white background and then there's also 12 point which is smaller and then also bold now i'm going to modify that and change it to black text on white background i mean white text on black background here you should see that is a good amount more visible and then what i'll do is i'll turn off dimming and you should be able to see my hand Okay, and the background of the monitor that's behind. Okay, and then if I go ahead and change this back, okay, that's what it looks like with dimming off. And then dimming on. Here's what it might look like if you're doing some coding uh, in the matrix, I guess. Okay, dimming on, dimming off. Okay. On again. Now, this is at the lowest brightness setting because uh, if I turn it any higher, it's actually just going to blow out my camera lens. So I can't actually get it any brighter. Okay, just for reference. And so here it is again. The story is called Arthur the Rat. A uh, little bit morbid of a story, but if you're curious, um, do check it out. It's used for um, like voice testing and stuff. If you've got like a hoarse voice and impaired vocal cords. So here it is, black text on white background, 12 point font for the body text. Okay. And 24 point font for the title. Here is black background, white text. Okay. Um, now for my eyes, you don't really need to do something like 50 point, even though that was recommended as a test, simply because it just looks way too big and everything just uh, doesn't fit on the page anymore after that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 36 point just to kind of demonstrate how blown out that actually gets as well. So here's 36 point. Um, and then one more time. White text, black background. Okay. Here it is with dimming off, just so you can see what that looks like there. So even with the dimming off, which might be what you want to do in order to see like your table, there's some slight shading. It's still, you know, fairly visible. Okay. Last two things. This one was to show off what it looks like with um, a spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet font is 10 point. Okay, so first again with dimming it on. Okay, here is my little chart here. My old benchmark when I used to do big game benchmarks, so uh, way too time consuming. Okay. Here it is with dimming off. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. 
I don't know exactly what size font this becomes when you zoom in, but you can still see it's it's still quite visible here. Okay. Me on again. Once again up here. All right, and the, for the very last test, just because I have to have some voice in here, let's look at what some moving text looks like. Okay, so here is the same test for the Vitra Pros. Now, it's not exactly the same because uh, I had to adjust the height a little bit of the camera, but uh, for the most part, you should be able to see uh, what it looks like for productivity purposes. So here again, we're starting with some text, and then we're starting with black text and white background. You can see 24 point all the way down to 12 point and bold font. Okay, then I'm gonna switch this to black text, I mean white text on black background. Okay, and then one more, we're gonna do some matrix style, green text on white background. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn on the dimming. Turn off the dimming, I should say. Okay, and then dimming on. Go backwards, dimming off. See my hand here. Okay, and then one more with dimming off. White text back, black background, dimming on. Dimming off. Okay, and then the next test was for the Arthur the Rat. Okay, once again, dimming on. 24 point title, 12 point body. Then we've got same thing, just a white text, black background. Okay, and then I said I was gonna change everything to 36 point font. Here it is, I forgot to turn off the dimming. Still see, it's still quite visible. Again, dimming on, dimming off. Okay, uh, and then the spreadsheet. So, once again, this is a uh, 10 point font for the spreadsheet. And then here's the table. It is one more time. Let me off. So here you can see it's a little harder to see. This is probably what's preferred. Okay, and then zooming in. I believe this was about the level we zoomed in. Coming off. on there is chart off coming 
on. Okay, and then uh, the final test again. I'm just going to include a quick demonstration here to show you how blown out the image gets. Um, so yeah, this is why I can't properly capture even the comparison. The image just gets too blown out and it's not a fair comparison. All right, and for my last test, I was asked to compare this to a typical laptop. Uh, this is a 15.6 inch IPS display, and this is what it looks like from about my kind of standard typing distance. You can see where my hand is down here. Okay, so here is the text, black text on white background, All right? Then there's the white text on black background, All right? Mind the messy desk. Here's the green text on black background. The Arthur the Rat. Yeah, I highly encourage you to check out this uh, story if you're morbidly curious. Okay, once again, 12 point body font and 24 point title font text. Okay, white text, black background again. Obviously, there, it goes without saying there's no dimming on these kind of things, but um, I, I should say that this is at the maximum brightness. Yeah, this is at the maximum brightness, okay? Um, all right, so here is the spreadsheet text. Then here is the chart. So once again, zooming to About the same level. Okay. What I'll personally say subjectively is that I feel like doing it on a monitor, like a dedicated physical monitor, is always going to feel a little bit better in a sense because it doesn't feel as kind of claustrophobic as wearing the glasses. And maybe that's just a me thing. Possibly because like the glasses are not completely clear, so it always feels like not only is there something on your face, but it's a little bit shaded. So, I mean, that, that might just be a me thing. Okay, and then the final test. Obviously, I mean, I, I kind of feel like I don't have to do this test, but... Okay, and for the side-by-side -side through the lens comparison, which you skipped to, let's make this a little bit more fun. Which glasses do you think is which? Give up? Well, if you guess Luma Pro on the right, you would be correct. The FOV is slightly larger, even though you won't notice much of a difference here on the video, and that's just because of skill issues with capturing the video on my camera. What I want you to notice mostly is the clarity of the text themselves. These are both zoomed to the same level, and both of these glasses are at the same lowest brightness setting for each of the glasses. And while I'm not going to do all the side-by-sides, like with the dimming off, I encourage you to go backwards in the video and check that out, or leave me an angry comment below telling me that you want me to do that. I wanted to show here that both of these glasses are very readable inside of them and they actually look clearer than they do show up on this YouTube video because of compression most likely. 
And for the final comparison, I have a laptop that's about the comfortable typing distance away from me. This laptop is a 1440p screen, and it is at this max brightness, whereas the Luma Pro is at this lowest brightness. And something that doesn't get conveyed well over the YouTube video is that the Luma Pro glasses are going to look much bigger unless you're way up against the wall, and that's just some eye wizardry. If you're looking far away across the hall, you'll see that the Luma Pro looks like a huge projector screen. Personally speaking, I'm still going to take the physical screen for productivity work, but for media consumption and gaming, there's no comparison that I think that these XR glasses are the way to go versus a typical standard laptop. And my reasoning for that is just that I want a big private theater when I'm watching my uh, family appropriate content. Yep. That's what I said. But if you fancy yourself as a person who wants to try to do some work while wearing these XR glasses, I do encourage you to check out another video which I'm publishing using the Z Fold 7 and the Luma Pro glasses. Now, it doesn't have to be that combination, but you can see all these different cool things that you can do basically replacing a desktop. Either way, if you're considering picking up some Vitor glasses or products, please do consider using the code GAMERSGEN at checkout, which gives me a bit of a kickback and encourages me to keep making content like this. And if you found this useful, please do consider giving me a like or telling me what you liked about it. And if you didn't, leave me a comment down below as well. And in case nobody has told you today, you are a beautiful person, so don't let anything hold you back.